In this video, I'm going to compare two subscription box I have for my kid. We have the Love Everyone and the Kiwi Co. And I'm trying to see which one of these are actually the better value. In this specific video, I'll be using the two latest kits I have from each of these companies. Um, for Love Every, it's going to be their Charmer one, which is a month three to four. And then for the Kiwi Co, it's the Sense With Me one. Um, they actually mark it as zero to 12 months. So comparing the two kits isn't exactly going to be apples to apples as Love Every is double the price of the Kiwi Co's. Um, this is $80 versus the $40. Um, and they do give or take give you a box every other month. So you get one box every two months. So the Love Every Play Kit actually break downs into a more set specific age range. Like the first one was zero to three. This particular one is three to four. And you can go on their website and find out exactly what you're gonna get in each one of these kits. So the KiwiCo on the other hand, um, while I do think they have set boxes already pre-made on their end, you actually can't go on the website and find out exactly what box you get. And what I mean by that is in Love Every, if your child is three to four months old, you know that if you order from them you're getting this charmer and you know can go on the website and find out exactly what items are going to come in that kit. The KiwiCo website doesn't show you all the different type of panda crates. It does give you a few uh, sample crates. You can find out the general idea of what's going to be included but you're not going to know exactly what you're getting. So it's a little bit more like a traditional subscription box in that matter. All right, so since Love Every and Kiwi Cove make their own toys, and they actually only include them inside these subscription box kits, so uh, for example, I can't go online and figure out how much this rattle costs, as it's only included in the subscription box. So I figured the best way for me to kind of make a valuation of the, the value of these overall kits was to find an item that's very similar on Amazon, or at least as close as I can get. Um, to see what the value of these kits were. So this video actually will let you know is it worth it to try to buy all these individual pieces separately on Amazon and make your own subscription box? Or will it be cheaper to actually just get one of these boxes? And which one of these boxes actually has the better value? So first I'm gonna go over the items in the Love Every Kit and calculate the prices on there. Um, since I'm already holding the rattle on Amazon, you can find this one, or not exactly this one, but a similar rattle um, it's made of wood as well for $13.99. A quick note, um, the prices of Amazon stuff can actually go up or down depending on when you look at it. Um, I'm basically basing it off of when I'm doing the research today. This baby roller here with this bell in the middle, there's an Amazon version that's kind of similar. Um, it's a little bit more colorful, but still made of wood. It's $13. So the Love Every Softbook here is actually something I like a lot, especially when Alistair was a little bit younger. Um, it has a bunch of activities and everything in it. Um, however, I couldn't find anything quite as um, nice as this one on Amazon, but I did find this one that was a little bit similar. It's not quite a book, but it does all the same thing. It's kind of like a little soft activity center, I want to call it. Um, of course, it doesn't have like as many things to do like these little straps here. And that one is goes for $16.99. So I actually didn't price this mirror card separately as it actually has a mirror in this uh, Amazon $16.99 version. However, I did price the contrast card separately. Um, this particular kit only comes with three cards and uh, three cards means six different sides. Uh, six different pictures. Um, I did find another one on Amazon that comes with 15 cards for $15.99. And these contrast cards are actually 4 by 6 so they're a little bit smaller than the ones that come with Love Every. So next item is actually this soft ring here. Um, it's kind of like a little donut. Believe it or not, I actually couldn't find anything equivalent to this on Amazon. Or at least I couldn't uh, you find it no matter what kind of search terms I put. Um, so what this meant is for the baby to kind of put in their mouth and chew and just know different type of textures. Um, so what I did was I found something that was kind of like a what they call nubby teething blankets So it does have like kind of like this soft material cloth material on it um, I use that as an equivalent for baby's learning and that is four dollars and ninety-seven cents Next is this ring toy with the little attachment to it. This one has a little crinkly thing on it I couldn't find one that was like this, but I did find something very similar It's a wooden ring with a cloth attached to the end of it And this one actually comes with two and it's for nine dollars and twenty eight cents next item simple enough It's a rubber silicone ring. Um, I did find something that's a little bit better on Amazon. I think um, Not quite just a perfect ring, but it has a little bit of legs on it and this goes for $6.99 the next item is a little pouch here. It's a little bit colorful pouch. Um, of course, I don't think they make anything like this for kids. So I actually looked in a different area 
and what I found was they have something, a little pouch, um, it's for $11.99. And the reason why I picked this particular pouch is because it's also colorful, so um, these are also good for you to play hide and seek with your kids. Um, what, what I mean by that is like kind of like you hide the bag kind of underneath something and the child will kind of notice that, hey look, um, it's pretty colorful and then they'll get interested and find it and pull it out. Next is this wooden hand-to-hand -hand disc. Um, I found something literally quite identical for it and it's $12.99. Alright, next is this framed mirror. Um, this one's actually quite hard to find. As you can see, the back of it actually has this little contrast stuff on it. And the other side is the mirror, um, which Alistair is playing with right now. Um, I couldn't find anything on Amazon that was quite as kid-friendly as this one, where the sides um, was framed up with nice little hard plastic. The one I found is still actually still meant to be used in the classrooms. So maybe it's meant for kids that are a little bit older. So if you do get something like this, you might want to make sure you keep an eye on your child. And this one is $19.99 for this rounded edge uh, acrylic mirror. So actually, if you do the calculations of everything I just listed on Amazon, um, give or take, you might be able to find some stuff that's a little bit cheaper if you're willing to kind of give or take on the functionality. Um, like for example, this mirror here, um, there's nothing on the market right now that I know of that has a contrast on one side and a mirror on the other side. So um, there is some give or take you're gonna have to do with this calculation. So if you try to recreate this kit on Amazon, it's gonna cost you $131.63. Um, so this box is definitely well worth it. It's uh, $80, so it's you're getting 1.6 times the value if you try to make your kit yourself on Amazon. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing for the KiwiCo box. First up are these little soft blocks. You get four of them. Um, you can find something quite similar to the size and function on Amazon for $14.99. Next up is this little crinkly toy here with a bunch of colorful ribbons on the side as well as a wooden ring handle. Um, it's super cute. Um, I did find something similar on Amazon. It's for $10.99, but I don't think it's as cute as this panda crate one. Next is this little knot ball with this chime in the middle. Um, the closest I could find was this cloth ball that was for $4.99 on Amazon. So we're teething toy that has both a rubber silicone as well as a wooden um, rings. Um, there's this one toy that's on Amazon for $9.99. Alright, next one is this bath book. While you can't find a bunch of bath books on Amazon, like this one here for three books for $7.60, this one actually changes colors whenever it gets wet. So it's a little bit more interactive than any of the other ones I could find on Amazon. The last item inside the Kiwi Gold box is actually an item that's similar to Love Every. It's to uh, this hand-to-hand uh, -hand disc. This one's actually much bigger and it's contrast color. I couldn't find anything similar to this, so I'm gonna have to use the same hand-to-hand -hand disc I found for Love Every at $12.99. So if you try to buy everything separately on Amazon, this would cost you $61.54. So once again, this is a great value as it's 1.5 times the value of $40. Alright, so based off of this, it actually shows that it's worth it to buy these subscription boxes rather than trying to make your own kit on Amazon as one is 1.5 times the value and the other is 1.6 times the value of what you pay for. Do keep in mind though that the value of every individual kit you probably receive might not be worth as much as this or it could be worth more. Um, but I do find a common theme is that each one of these boxes is uh, much better value than you trying to buy everything on Amazon yourself. All right, a quick change of scenery as Alistair is getting a little bit antsy sitting in that room so long. So with all the information, which one of these kits are actually better? Um, you might be thinking to yourself right now that the Love Every might be better as it's 1.6 times the value versus the KiwiCo's 1.5. If you think about it, 1.5 and 1.6 isn't that big of a difference. However, I think it comes down to actually what's your budget. If your budget is $40 for every other month, the KiwiCo is definitely a good box. It comes with plenty of toys, and the toys are great for the child to learn different things. But if you have a little bit more budget, then the $80 version of the Love Every is actually another good option, as it comes with even more toys. Um, I think either of these kit, you can probably last um, two months without needing to buy anything else for your child. Personally, I think both boxes are great boxes. Um, as you can tell, I have subscription to both of them. Let me know down below in the comment section which one of these boxes you like more or which one you think is probably the better value for you. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time.